Hey there, my name is Promise, and welcome to more Elder Kings 2, playing as Manamarco, the King of Worms. In the last video, we conquered a chunk of territory, actually just about conquered the entirety of an empire here, and now we are ready to make our thrust. Unto the Ruby Throne and the White Gold Tower, we want to take the Imperial City for ourselves. And we can place our great lichy awesomeness on the throne, and the world shall fear me. Ah, however, I do see a little bit of a problem. The Imperial Cult Populists are attempting to break free, and there's kind of a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Yep, you want freedom? No. You shall have death. Oh, wow, that's a, yeah, that's a big rebellion. That's a big rebellion. No biggie, though. We can handle it. It's fine, though. This is actually good. This is a good opportunity to go ahead and revoke a bunch of titles and put some nasty people in prison where they belong. I like that. All right, and these fools are now imprisoned, and I should be able to revoke all of your stuff, and there ain't a dang thing you can do about it. <laughs> I became obese? Hi, hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, wait, 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 I am a lich. I didn't even know I was consuming food in the first place, but I just became obese. Hey, another available dynasty. Do you want to go for the thaumaturgic heritage? More experience for lifestyles and stuff could be nice. I don't know what the arcane court court type does, but I have to imagine it's gonna be good. It might get me more magic in some way. And then extra rituals I don't care too much about, but we should probably work up towards sorceress rule. That makes sense. And Hastril over here is looking to declare war on me for a Viscounty. Um, that doesn't seem like a good choice on your end, but okay. It's taking me a little while, but I've rearranged a lot of the uh, duchies down here, and now I've replaced them with proper loyal people, who are going to be making sure they give me all of their money and their troops. So I shouldn't have much to worry about as far as some uprisings from the vassals. They are fanatically loyal, which is amazing. It's really just the dang populists that keep popping up that are going to be an issue, but for now we're okay. So I think it might be time to start making my push toward the Imperial Isle. What do you think? I think so. Yes. Here we go. Starts by taking over this kingdom title over here, or at least a big chunk of said kingdom title. So now we are right up against the Imperial Isle. And I got two different bridges that I will be able to cross. Here we go. It's gonna be a big fight. No doubt about it. 10,000 troops here with probably an unbelievably reinforced fort. Level 30 fort? What the heck in heck? Holy crud! Right. If we want to take over the Imperial City itself, um, that is an unbelievably defensible location. Might be better to try to take literally everything else around it, and hopefully it just gives up eventually. But uh, with 10,000 troops, this actually is going to be a fight. This is going to be a legit fight. Oh, gosh dang it. But before I can do that, more Imperial cultists, because of course, why not? Here we go. Screw it, I'm gonna try going to Absolute Crown Authority. Again, for the same reasons as before, I think that in theory it's gonna result in me getting a lot more. And my vassals are supposedly... Well, how did you get back in control over here? I have no idea. Yeah, they're still at 100 opinion, so okay, we're good on that front at least. All right, well, apparently this person, uh, Jata, has lost a few troops. Now is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and say I want to conquer your kingdom, the entirety of the Imperial Isle, shall become mine. N numbers are pretty heavily in my favor. They got a lot of cash. Wow. Okay, but with this, I should now also be able to go over here and hire up my Holy Order for free, which I like even more. And let's raise up all the armies and get ready for the biggest freaking siege we've ever seen. And to make this even more fun, Let's go ahead and open up my spell book, and I'm gonna do some stuff to you. I'm gonna make you, for example, weak to weapons for the next five years, meaning you take massive casualties. That could work. I don't suppose we have a general who's, like, really good at sieging? Does not appear so. That is unfortunate. Okay. Well, we're gonna start by trying to take over everything around the Imperial City, basically. Oh, hang on. Never mind. I was gonna say let's do that, but there they are. So we can try to get around, let's see, if I were to attack right now, this would be a pretty bad fight. If I can find a way to come around this way, we might be able to intercept and wipe out a big chunk of the army, and this would be huge. And apparently they got more troops somehow. Yeah, they got a lot. All right, hang on. I have the 30% movement speed, though, so I'm catching out pieces of the army, which is great. And okay, it appears that my wife, my granddaughter, is dead. Oh. Dang it. All right, gotta go find another one. Oh, look, another granddaughter. You'll do. 
And we just did some pretty massive damage. That's about 5,000 dead just like that. Okay, let's take the army. Let's get it a quick split. And then some of you go over here, and then some of you come back around up over here, and let's begin the siege. And the more we can start weakening their ability to reinforce, the better. Pretty sure that the AI is hiring as many mercs as they can get, which, honestly, I can play that game too if you want. Uh, let's go ahead and hire the Half Moon side host, and how about the Brass Water Band? Both pretty decent, and that's gonna be a lot of extra troops to sustain the war effort. We can get another primary heir is of a wrong dynasty. I don't know how that all happens. My heir is unmarried. Right, we can figure all that out later. Don't care. So, um, they're definitely they're definitely proving to be tough. Um, I don't care about raiders. Raiders don't matter. But if we can split off some of their groups and get defensive fights like this, that works great. We're taking massive losses here. There's no way around it. Massive losses. And until I can really grind them down... It's not really gonna get much easier than this. I just kinda kinda have to keep taking good fights and make sure I take a couple of these forts and then just sort of sit on them for a bit. Like, here's another 14 versus 7,000. That should be pretty hefty casualties. And I've got very good pursuit value right now, so I should be able to do a lot of damage to these guys whenever I do catch them out. We're up to 78% war score and I haven't even started fighting over the Imperial City yet. That's great. That's fantastic. Let's take one of these armies and have them just sort of sit back in a reinforcing position if I can get in here and take... This is a level 15 fort. That's gonna suck. I'd rather go take down this level 1 fort. This would be an easier way of generating a bit of uh, exhaustion for them. Okay, so we're at 86% war score now. Their troops have moved over here. Uh, if I wanted to go fight them, it looks like one army should be able to handle it. Um, we can try laying siege to the city. I just know that it's gonna take so long it's not gonna be worth it. I'd rather go ahead and start laying siege to this one. Probably won't even matter, to be honest. But let's get down here and just try to keep harassing them so they can't gain any ground. And if I can take this one more fort, maybe we win. Maybe. Even better if I can get into the city itself and attack. Boom. Okay, so we get in there. So how bad is this siege gonna be? Four years of sieging! Whoa! Whoa! Lost a bit of ground by losing a siege over here. That's fine. If I can get this one, it's a good trade. Come on, get it right now. Hang on. Oh, good lord. What now? I don't care. Take this. Take the fort. Take the fort. Okay, good. Then we just get we just lost our mercenaries. Still probably fine. Wouldn't mind hiring an extra just to be safe, though. Let's take, I guess, you again. Rehire you. And we'll have you join in on the fight so we can easily take these guys out. Okay, and then all I gotta do is siege down this one fort, which should be really, really fast, and... Boom. Enforce demands, ladies and gentlemen. I am now the Emperor of the White Gold Tower! Oh, that feels good. That feels really, really good. Now I have to rearrange my entire kingdom by, like, a lot, but you know what? Totally worth it. Disband the troops. Now we haven't unpaused the game to see what some of the impacts are gonna be yet. Because at least for a little bit, the game thought I was over my domain. I ended up giving away a lot of land that I already held up over here around uh, Dragonstar. But I think that's a good trade, honestly, because this is some of the best development you're going to find in the entire map. 47 development, not to mention some pretty awesome things here, like let's say the Imperial City building. Giving me an extra 15% levy and holding for the entire duchy. Also, the White Gold Tower expanded. 50% holding taxes, all the prestige, renown, control, good lord. Yeah, holding this holding gives me a ton of power. It's absolutely insane. So, really good trade-off for me. We just need to convert them to the right religion, and we need to get our control up there so we have absolute control. But if we unpause the game, all right, we're going to see that we did jump up at least a little bit in terms of income again. What is this? Life and color. What a delightful day it is! The wind is refreshing! I'm a happy lich! Because Vanus is dead? Hold on! <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Vanus died! Venice actually freaking died. Oh, that's amazing. All right. Well, this has been a very good week for us, isn't it? Okay. Uh, best day of my life. Lose all the stress that I don't have. Yeah. All right. Well, um, you wait until nightfall, then set off with a shovel. I'm going to screw with this body. Hold on. Hang on. Whoa. Hang on. The night air hangs still and silent. The only noise that can be heard is the scrape of the shovel. His body is exposed once again. I'll make you useful for once. I could feed you to the pigs, or I could take his skull as an artifact. Oh, hell yeah. I thought 
I was about to raise him from the dead <laughs> as a zombie. Not as fun. Still, nonetheless, pretty good. What is this trinket gonna do for me? Where's his skull? There it is. It's not even worth much. Uh, one could even say that that might be like the ultimate insult there. I don't know. Uh, we do want to be moving this to become my capital. Yes, I think we're all in agreement. I won't be able to do this until we change it to the du jour capital of my primary title. So what you're saying is I need to create a kingdom and or duchy type of title in order to take this for myself. Alright, well, we'll be able to figure that one out. I also feel like I might need to divorce my granddaughter spouse. Somehow, I don't know how this happened, but she got shuffled underneath a vassal. Uh, which means she's not actually giving me any value, so we might as well just get someone new. The problem I'm gonna run into now is, somehow, in order to get myself on the ruby throne proper, I gotta create this title. I need to conquer a lot of lands, but I'm also kind of at a vassal limit. So you almost need to have, like, an actual kingdom title figured out at this point. There's really not many more counties and duchies that I can create as things currently stand. Well, all I need to do is conquer, like, three more provinces. If we can knock out these tiny little guys that look like the Baltic states and feed these off to some vassals, we can create the kingdom title, make it the primary holding, and then I should be good. Oh, and I finally learned how to make mangonels! Excellent, some actual siege value. Thank you. All right, this is turning into a little bit more than I was expecting. Brable here has this one little province, and it's fairly large, and holy hell, that is... That is a lot of populists. 16,000 populists, you say? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. No. Um, mmm. This is good. This is very good. I was able to finish that war off, no problem. Okay. And apparently I grabbed the wrong dang county. Oh, for God's sake. I wasn't even... Okay, you know what? It's fine. Let's get over here. Let's get over here and deal with this scum who's trying to siege down the Imperial City. I, there's no way I'm letting them get away with that. Actually, we could just, like, stop right here. We captured the person that matters, apparently. All right, excellent. Enforce demands, disband all. Didn't even have to fight against them. Excellent. All right. Um, this should be an opportunity to go ahead and just revoke this. So I can take it for myself, which is worth it, because the entire island gets so much bonus. Um, it's amazing. I have to hold on to this. Well, even if I did grab the wrong territory, that doesn't matter. Now I can create the Duchy of the Imperial Isle. And I can create the Kingdom of the Heartlands. There we go. So I've got this. Now I should be able to just make this my primary title, like so. And then can we go over here and make this my regional capital? The answer should be yes. Boom. All right. And just like that, my throne room should now be in the White Gold Tower. Oh. Eh? Eh? I'm just saying- Oh wait, we can make this even better! Hang on, hang on, hang on, we can make this even better! I got a special throne! Ruby Throne! Uh, prestige per month, renown, grand, uh, grandeur bonus- Oh, whole- Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it looks so good! Yeah! Dude, this is freaking awesome! Let's- let's hold court! Let's hold court in here! I wanna hear some petitioners in my new throne! God, the lich sitting here is just terrifying! And I'm being like an absolute tyrant, too. You come here, you try to extort me for knowledge or whatever? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna have my guard seize you and I'll torture what I want out of this. No, 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 you ain't gonna mess with Mana Marco, the new emperor of... Well, not... Not exactly Cyrodiil. We can fix that, though. Of course, now I have to deal with the fact that I'm called the dang Heartlands. Blech. Blech. And I've got 4,000 gold. When the heck did that happen? Holy crud! Okay, um, we're going max on Grandier. I can afford it. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. So at this point, we really should be more or less unchallengeable. I mean, I, I should be able to muster an absurd force and win nothing but kingdom fights again and again and again and again. For example, down over here in Anvil, right? What if I want to go ahead and take the Colovian Estates and turn it into a proper empire? Well, we can start down over here. All I gotta do is declare war on this loser, go conquer an empire. It's only gonna cost me 750 prestige when I have 10 freaking thousand. And if I can just hand off all the territory to a bunch of fanatical cultists, where's the problem here? Of course, I do still have to deal with the dang Imperial cultists. Yeah, it's it's definitely a war between cults at this point. Non-stop civil wars until I can manage to convert, like, literally everyone. Oy vey. But, you know, the Worm Cult is making some progress, and the important thing is, I did convert the Imperial City, which means we're not gonna get, like, another 10,000 rebels just from my one province. So that's good. 
There, see? I just conquered this entire area. Took me, like, no time at all, really. And that was while fighting a massive uprising across the entire country. And now all I have to do, uh, if I can just hand all the duchies and or the kingdom titles, well, not until I'm an empire, but the duchies off to some loyal fanatical cultists, I'll never have to worry about them rebelling. It's literally just the unwashed masses I have to worry about, not disloyal vassals, because I'm practically worshipped as a god because I'm a lich. Oh god, there's too many- okay, there's too many mes messages, there's too many messages, TOO MANY MESSAGES, STOP! So the question I have now is, can I actually create an empire? Because if I can create an empire title, this life gets a lot easier all of a sudden. Now, I'm still missing a bunch of Dejour counties, dang it. These empires are freaking huge, dude. Alright, Bruma, you're next on my list to die. Oh my gosh, another imperial cult uprising, it never ends, I swear! I'm gonna have to convert every last one of you! Whatever, give me the dang kingdom. Okay, so we got that. So that's all taken care of now. Just put down the cult, hand off some territory to my own cultists, and I think we're good. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, um, we've got our kingdom titles. Now we wanna take a look at our empire titles, and that is the wrong empire. There we go, all right. So the Colovian Estates, I can finally set up. I've got 107 of the required counties, which is great. It's only 350 gold. Easy. Easy. Go ahead and create this sucker. I am now a mighty general. Oh, is 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 that how this works? I'm not an emperor. I'm a general now. Hmm. A state's general and stuff. I guess it makes sense. The important thing is I'm now able to have a lot more vassals, which means I can control a lot more of this stuff. And I should be able to start creating some kingdom titles, setting some people up to be a heck of a lot stronger. I could also go into my empire title and actually change what it looks like, because this is just... This ain't gonna cut it. No, 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 no. There we go. The empire of the black worm seems a whole lot better. So now what do we do? We're kind of done, honestly. Uh, but you know, I'm not totally satisfied with it. Um, what if we decide to try to unite, like, basically Cyrodiil? I don't think we can, like, literally do that, but I mean, we can get close. Making some progress, at least kicking everyone out of this area. Bravel is probably the next big target, and at 2,000 troops seems pretty weak. I don't really see any reason why we couldn't just go for a full Imperial War over here if we wanted to. That's a lot of territory we could snag. But of course the populists are coming up again. For God's sake, when does this end? Does this ever end? I, I, it, it get, it's so stupid! You all are just gonna die again and again! And they're actually getting stronger every time is a scary thing because I just keep taking on more land faster than I can convert it. I'm literally blitzing through these wars about as fast as I can with the expectation we're we'll me taking on Bravel in just a second. But I might as well knock out some of the smaller duchies and kingdoms as well because it's gonna give me a lot more access in areas I want to go. But these wars are really, really, really quick at this point. It does not take me long. All I gotta do is just move the rally point over here and say, let's raise up all the armies and we're gonna end up having, what is it, 18,000 men raising up here to deal with one small kingdom. Like, yeah, this doesn't take long. This is easy. See, this war only took me like 45 seconds to win kind of a thing. Like, it really is that fast at this point. And then I just go ahead and rinse and repeat, hand it off to fanatical cultists and boom. And now's a good time to go ahead and declare the war because she is stupidly weak. I can get almost all of Cyrodiil in one fell swoop. And actually, I just captured someone important and that's it. Boom, that was even fast too. Holy crap, and boom. Alrighty, that expands the holdings just a little bit. All right, um, so question. Can I, like, usurp your title at this point? I still don't have enough after all of this, are you serious? How big is this frickin' empire? Answer is it's actually kind of huge. All right, fair enough. But now I have like a million vassals to deal with and oh God, all right, this is... <laughs> I need to revoke enough territory to get somebody new in every one of these duchies. This is gonna take for freaking ever. Or I could just create a whole bunch of kingdom titles, I suppose, but like, yeah, all right. At this point though, I think I've kind of proven my point. We can have up to 26,000 troops. I've barely even been making use of my spells as of late in order to get extra soldiers because we just don't need it. Um, the power of being a lich is honestly not the magic. Um, it's the fact that you end up having fanatical cultists who will serve you in all things and never rebel against you even once. So I have a shockingly stable empire, except for all the religious issues, a very, very stable empire, 
that's never going to rebel, and I just get stronger and stronger and stronger, and now I have so much prestige and piety, I can literally take on entire kingdoms or empires every single war. The more united they are, frankly, the more convenient it is for my mass conquests. So I think this is a good place to actually end the series, as I think we've kind of proven our point. Manamarco, King of Worms, good god, can become unbelievably powerful. Again, Lich, stupidly good with the Worm Cult. It really, really is. The extra power of, like, raising troops and stuff, it only helps you in the early game. That's what matters, is the early game having Deidre and having lots of extra troops that can just come and just fill in the gaps so you can take on large swaths of territory and just survive. Because the other uh, kingdoms, they're not pushovers. I mean, 7,000 troops is a lot of troops. These kingdoms can totally take you down, but you gotta survive just long enough to the point where you're ready to start steamrolling. And once you get to this point, untouchable. Absolutely untouchable. Really fun. And honestly, a really well done mod. Good lord. This is like a phenomenally done CK3 mod. I'm really impressed with how it's turned out. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this small series of Elder Kings 2 for CK3. If you did, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell. And I will see you guys next time.